This presentation is on the passive voice present system and it includes the present imperfect and future tenses. It corresponds to your textbook Oxford Latin chapter 32. First we're going to see what the, uh, the forms of the passive look like and then we're going to see how they're translated. Passive voice uh, includes a new set of endings uh, in the present passive. Uh, the old personal endings in the present active are O, S, T, Mus, Tis, and Nt. Uh, sometimes the O appears as an M, as in BAM, Basbat, or AM, S, ET, uh, or SUM, for example. Uh, for the passive voice in the present system, we replace those old personal endings with a new set of personal endings, and those are R, R, RIS, TER, MER, MINI, and INTER. Uh, the key to learning the present passive system is to commit those uh, those endings to memory. R, RIS, TER, MER, MINI, INTER. Say it to yourself till you don't even have to think about it anymore. How these new endings work. For the most part, you're going to simply substitute the new endings for the old ones. Uh, so, for example, if we have AMAT, uh, we take off the T in AMAT, and then we would put on a mater, the T-U-R in a mater right there. Uh, there are a couple of exceptions, however. Uh, in the first person singular, uh, where the ending is O, uh, we are going to add the R uh, instead of taking off the O and sticking an R on, which we get a mo, which wouldn't mean anything. So we take a, uh, we have a mo and add the R and we get a more, as in right here. The other exception is something that I don't want you to stress about. Uh, a few times in the second person singular, uh, the linking vowels get funny. Uh, and let's not concentrate on those. If you concentrate on the, the simply substituting the new endings for the old ones, you'll get th things 90% right. Let's start with the present tense. Uh, and this is on page 145 in your text. In fact, all these tenses are, are on page 145 in your text. You don't have to look at it now if you don't want to. Uh, you can just uh, look at the video for a while. Uh, but you should see it at some point just to make sure you're studying. Uh, note that in most cases, the linking vowels are the same as in the active. In the first conjugation, our linking vowel is mostly A's, except for the first person singular. So where we had paro, paras, parat, paramus, paratus, parant, we're going to take off those active endings and put on the passive ones, and so we're going to get paror, pararis, parater, paramer, paramini, paranter. In the third conjugation, we have rego, regis, regit, regimus, regitis, regunt in the active. Changing that to passive, we would have reg or, reg eris, note the exception there, Reg iter, reg immer, reg imini, reg unter. Third I.O. looks like capio, cap is, cap it, cap imus, cap itus, capiunt in the active and in the passive, capior, cap eris, again an exception, cap iter, cap immer, cap imini, cap unter. Note that the exceptions happen in the third and third I.O. And their linking vowel in the second singular is E instead of I. Now you try moneo and then audio in the present passive. Stop the video if you want to have more time uh, because I'm going to show you moneo right now. Monior, moneris, moneter, monemer, monemini, monenter. And then here's audio. Out your, out iris, out iter, out immer, out dimini, out iunter. Notice that I R I S. Now let's move on to the imperfect passive. In the imperfect, the linking vowels are always exactly the same as in the active. So where we had parabam, parabas, parabat, parabamus, parabatis, parabant. Uh, we have the A as the linking vowel, and then the BA is the tense indicator. We take off our active endings, 
put on our passive ones, and we get parabar, parabaras, parabater, parabamar, parabamani, parabanter. This is going to be true in the other conjugations as well. So reggae bomb, reggae bas, reggae bot, reggae bamas, reggae batis, reggae bant turns into reggae bar, reggae baris, reggae bater, reggae bomber, reggae bamani, reggae banter. And in the third IO, capier bam, capier bas, capier bat, capier bamas, capier batis, capier bant turn into Capier bar, capier baris, capier bater, capier bomber, capier bamani, capier banter. Now you do moneo and audio. Remember, all the linking. There's no, nothing funny about the linking vowels here. I'm going to show you moneo now. So stop the video if you need more time. That's money bar, money baris, money bater, money bomber, money bamani, money banter. And now let's take a look at audio. Audier bar, audier baris, audier bater, audier bomber, audier bomani, audier banter. Hey. This is what the future passive looks like. Uh, there are a couple of exceptions in here. So, and we still have to worry about the bow bis bit for the first and second conjugation versus the um s et versus the third in the third and fourth conjugation. So where we had parabo, parabis, parabit, parabimus, parabitis, parabunt, we now have parabor, parabaris, parabiter, parabimmer, parabimini, parabunter. Slight exception in the second singular. In the third conjugation, active is regam, reges, reget, regemus, regetis, regent. The passive is going to look like regar, regeris, regeter, regemmer, regemini, regenter. Linking vowels are no different at all. Same with the third AO. Capiam, capies, capiet, capiemus, capietis, capient turns into capiar, capieris, capieter, capiemmer, capiemini, capienter. So the exceptions happen in the first conjugation and the second conjugation, whereas in the second singular right here, uh, that is an E instead of an I. Otherwise, it's all the same as the active. Now you try monio and audio in the future passive. I'm going to show you monio, so stop the video if you need more time. So monio goes moni bore, moni baris, exception. Money bitter, money bimmer, money bimini, money bunter. Audio goes audiar, audieris, audieter, audiemer, audiemini, audienter. Now let's talk about how they're translated. Uh, as with all passives, the present system is composed of a form of 2B. So you have some kind of 2B after your subject uh, in the correct tense. Uh, in, and it ends with the past participle, which is usually the ED form for most verbs. So in the present tense, this is going to look like I am heard, for example, or I am being heard. You are being heard, or she or he is being heard, etc. Remember, uh, note that you don't really need the being, but you can have it. I am heard, I am being heard. Same thing according to the Romans. In the imperfect, you change the ams and the ars and the ises to wases and wers. I was heard, or I was being heard. You were heard, or you were being heard. She or he was heard, or being heard. Uh, note, it, note that in the imperfect, if you leave out the being, it sounds an awful lot like the perfect tense. But if the being is there, that can only be imperfect. In the future, it's I will be heard, you will be heard, he or she will be heard, etc. So you've got your am, your was, and your will be as your tense indicators followed by that past participle. Okay? Remember that if it's passive, it has to have the past participle. If you put the ing form here, that makes it active. 
So that's pretty much it as far as the, uh, the passive voice in the per uh, present system. Uh, here's some important tips that we need to remember. You've got to be able to recognize those passive endings, your R, RIS, TER, MER, MINI, INTER. You've got to recognize that the thing is a verb for the, uh, for the moment till you get used to it. It's, these are going to look a little weird to you, uh, but you've got to pick up that that's a verb. Uh, you have to recognize that it's passive and attach the passive meaning to the verb. Uh, sometimes people don't, don't do that. But if you remember all that, you'll be just fine. Thanks for listening.